one, one way, one, one way, only one, one way, one, one way, one, one way, one, one way, one. All right, you know what time it is. It's time for One Way. That's right, that's right. So put your ear closer to the speaker and see if you can hear what God is trying to say to you today with or without music. That's right, and you know it's only one way to the Father, and that is through the Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, you know it's a new year, and I'm excited because it's 2020, and this the year for us to see it clear. Right, right. So get ready for some new guests. Some new guests. Some new videos. New videos. And you know, of course, Doc know he's going to be deciphering verses. That's right. Well, look, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Well, she ready. I know y'all ready, so we're going to get this thing started, all right? So let's go. Let's go. All right, you know what time it is. It's time for us to dive, dive in. into the little box. All right. <laughs> All right, let's today. dive in. All right. All right. Okay, mean? this is from Patiently Impatient. Patiently Impatient. Patiently okay, Impatient. How patiently Impatient. I don't know. Okay, well, you're going to have to answer. What's the question? I know. The question is, how can I be patient and trust God when I am going through a difficult situation? Okay, all right. I'm going through right. something. Okay. okay, really, in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, that's my husband's favorite scripture, right. it's trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. It says, in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he'll make your path straight. So what you have to do is you have to trust him. Right. You have to trust that he has a plan for your life that's a good one. And it's a plan to prosper you and not to harm you. So when you start to get weary, what you have to do is you have to say, okay, I'm going to trust the Lord more than I trust my situation. Yeah. And I know he's going to come through. And right. then remember where he brought you from before right. and then rejoice in where you at right now. Right, right. <laughs> you know, that's my scripture. So I he know. He said he will make your path straight that's if you right. trust in him and follow him, all right? So that's, that's right. That was a good answer. I believe somebody got something out there. It was yes. simple, but to the point. To the point. All right, you can put that back. Let them know how to get in touch with us and send us another letter. All right, because we love re receiving these letters. All you have to do is go to our website. Go to gottobedifferent.com. There's a section on there where, that we made just for you. Right. It's called the letterbox. Mm -hmm. Click on it. You don't have to leave your name. You can be anonymous. Right. And then send us your question and we'll address it on the next show. That's right. And remember, your questions don't only help you. They always help somebody else too. We want to say thanks to everyone that tuned in to the One Way TV 225 show. That's right. And if this show has been a blessing to you and you would like to help us by sowing into the ministry and be a part in helping us spread the gospel, then guess what? This is how you came. You can donate today by going to gottobedifferent.com and then push the donation button. Or even you can cash app us at dollar sign difference makers 225. Help be a part in letting the whole world know that it's only, only one, one way. way. This episode was sponsored by GeForce Innovations. Okay, we back with the word of the day. That's right. You know how I do how we do it. We always have to have us a word for the day. And our word for today is joy. joy. That's right. I said joy. And when I think about the word joy, I think about words like happy, excitement. Thrill, or oh, really, it just means that you feel good. Yeah, yeah, and see, I know that everybody loves to feel good. That's right, that's right. <laughs> everybody want to feel good, and everybody want to be happy. Mm. And I don't know nobody out there who really want to be sick or miserable. Right, right, because see, really, just look around at all the people who wear masks. Right. They're doing that so they can avoid catching this virus. That's right, that's right. And I know I hate to be sick. In mm. fact, joy and happiness is so important that there's a scripture in the Bible that says something the body. It's a scripture in the Bible that says that laughter is like a good medicine. Mm -hmm. And it says a good medicine. It's in Proverbs, Proverbs 17 and 22. Mm -hmm. It says that a cheerful heart is like good medicine, but a crushed spirit, it dries up your bones. And I don't know about y'all out there, but my bones, they getting old, and whatever I could do to keep them strong and not get brittle, you know what? 
I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I know my old bones be cracking. So I definitely need to be laughing and rejoicing all day long. <laughs> That's right. Look, look, whatever it takes. I know it got to work because I can remember a time when I had a real, real bad headache. And I didn't do nothing but start laughing and joking with my wife. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The headache went away. I mean, just like that. And just from me laughing, I got a peace, and I guess that took away the stress that I had. And the word even says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So we unlock some power that we can't even see whenever we have that joy bubbling up inside mm, of us. Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's good. And joy can even cause people and the atmosphere around you to change. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it really can. Don't you know? that really you can cause somebody to smile and you can cause somebody, you can smile at them and cause them to smile back at you. You can give someone a compliment and then you can see their whole demeanor change. If you don't believe me, y'all watch this here. All right, I'm gonna do something, y'all watch this. Girl, you look so nice today. <laughs> uh, look, you don't you know that could change your atmosphere all around. Well, wait, 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 like wait. See, see, when we talking about this, you looking good yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, men, it works on the men too, all right? And in Galatians 5, it says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. That's a special gift that God gave to us. So make sure that you use it and unlock that power that you have inside. You unlock it when you apply that gift mm -hmm. in your life. That's good. That's good. Well, when I think of the word joy, I think of words like to rejoice, mm. to triumph, to yeah. be happy, mm. to be cheerful. And, you know, these are all the words that the Lord gave us to display here in our lives. That's right. You know, so many people, they misunderstand the word joy. Hmm. They think that if you have a big bank account, then right. you can have joy. Right. Or uh, if you have a lot of friends, then you can have joy. Right. Or uh, if I wasn't going through this situation situation right now, then I can have joy. Right. But the joy that the Lord is giving us is not based on things. That's right. That's right. It's not based on things. But you know why? Because material things are just temporary. The thrill don't last that long anyway. That's no right. Way. That's right. <laughs> and you know, the joy that the Lord gives is a state of mental and emotional calmness right. with no worries, mm. no fear Come or on. stress. Right. And see, in this state, the mind is quiet and you experience a sense of freedom. Mm, that's good. That's mm, good. Mm. You, you have a sense of freedom and peace. Right, right. Well, you may be saying, how in the world can I get this kind of joy and this kind of peace? Mm. Well, in order to have this joy, it is only found in meditating right, and studying right. and believing the word of God. That's good. Well, a couple of months ago, I had been fighting a battle mm. and it did not feel good. But studying the word, it gave me a sense of joy in knowing that even in the battle, mm. I would come out of this thing victorious. Yeah, that's good. In James 1, 2 through 5, it says, when trouble of any kind come any your kind. way, <laughs> consider it an opportunity for great joy. That's right. It says, for you know that when your faith is tested, mm. your endurance has a chance to grow. That's then right. Then it says, so let it grow. Come on now. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That means you start to get stronger. Mm -hmm. So don't stop it. You need to just let it grow. Right, right. Because see, when your endurance is fully developed, Mm. You will be perfect and complete. Come on. Needing nothing. Right. Then it says, if you need wisdom, ask God mm. and he will give it to you. He would not get mad at you for asking. That's right. Knowing that no matter what I face, no matter what you're facing right now, you and I can still have joy because, see, the Lord has a plan for our life. And that plan is to prosper us. That's right. That's right. And when it says prosper, mm. it's not just talking about material mm -hmm. things. You know, it's also talking about your physical body. Right, too. right. So if we trust the Lord with our life, mm -hmm. then we can walk in this joy always. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so trust God and just be happy. Hi, I'm Arthur Shirley Weber, and I'm at the Barnes & Nobles in Mandeville, Louisiana. We are having an amazing time, and we have been meeting some amazing people. We have been telling them about their true identity. To make a difference, you have to be different and just what the doctor ordered. If you missed it, we're going to show you some things on One Way TV 225. But follow us on our website at gottobedifferent.com so you'll know what next location we'll be in. Until next time, thanks and God bless. This episode was sponsored by G-Force Innovations.
Okay, the word of the day is joy. That's right, I said joy. So quit frowning, stop complaining, and just be happy. That's right. Remember that happiness is like good medicine. Right. Now you heard the message from the letterbox, and I hope that you have learned how to be patient. Come on now. <laughs> so look, just calm down and learn to relax. Well, it's time for us to get into this video. You ready? I'm ready. All right, well, I know y'all ready, so let's go. Let's go. Jesus Christ is who I'm with I got a whole crew of believers We in front cause we the leaders And we like to make them see us When we do this, thank you Jesus He the only one we represent He the reason why we confident A gentle lamb so innocent But he got more power than the president So what you want and what you think I don't have to take a drink of drugs and weed I don't buy Cause Jesus Christ he keep me high That's just how it's gotta be I like my life, I'm living I don't care what people see, cause if I'm crazy, fine with me You think I'm crazy or deranged, but dog, I just been changed You may think I'm going insane, but I got Jesus on my brain I ain't crazy or deranged, but dog, I just been changed You may think I'm going insane, but I got Jesus on my brain Who we with? Jesus, Doing drugs because I'm praising God and showing Jesus love. Well, won't you listen close so I can tell you why? I had no hope because of sin and then my Savior died. See, it was at the cross that's where I first believed, and now I'm sinning praises up before I gotta leave. My King, my God, He rose. The Lamb of God exposed. We serve Him, love Him, trust Him, cause we're two that He not chose. Yes, He's coming back just to get his pride no you cannot go unless you drop that pride it's hard to praise your god because you feel ashamed but think it's cool to act a fool out at the football game I'm crazy or deranged but dog i just been changed you may think i'm going insane but i got jesus on my brain i ain't crazy or deranged but dog i just been changed you may think i'm going insane but i got jesus on my brain episode was sponsored by G-Force Innovations. <laughs> Who we with? Jesus. <laughs> Who we with? Jesus. Man, that's an anthem now. That one, oh, man, yeah, yeah. Know, Look, I, I, was was getting, I was getting so hyped. You know, when y'all were doing that <laughs> well, video, I, get wanted, hype. I was getting you get... hyped, like the young people say. I think they say that now. I was right. getting hyped. I was getting hyped. You were getting hyped. I accept that. All right. We, get, we can get hyped, too. That's right. We got that's right. We should we be able get to get hyped. hyped, too. That's right. Especially about Jesus. That's right. Especially about the one who died so that you could have life. Life and life more abundantly. Right, right. So what you think? What you think about that video I before see, you get see, too hype and don't yeah, talk yeah. about the video? See, see, I like that video. Uh, see, that's the video he should have put me on. Cause see, I think I would have been more hype, you know? You know? Yeah, I right. think I was gonna do I, good I, I on that. Remix, and do remix that, that right. thing so <laughs> I could be on that one. But you know, we supposed to have Jesus on our brain right. all the time. Because see, he died for us. He died for our sins so that we didn't have to die for our mm -hmm. sins. He died so that we could have life and life more abundantly so why not 
proclaim his good name. That's Why right. not tell everybody? So he's supposed to be on your mind all the time right. so that you can live a life that is pleasing and acceptable in his sight. Oh, that's good. That's yeah, good. see, yeah, I'm right. right. I am right. 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 I'm excited about Jesus. Right, right. Well, I ain't going to tell you Tommy <laughs> Brown. Keep it up. Pump it up. That's right. But you know what? I'm ready for you to disciple all that right. first. All right. Well, since you hype, I'm going to go ahead yeah. and jump into it too. But you got to set it up. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm about to set it. you up. All right. Set I'm it set up. Set you up. Set it up. All right. Y'all get hype out there too. <laughs> so put your ear closer to the speaker and see if you can hear what God is trying to say to you today without music. Well, it's on you, Doc. No. All right, it's on me. It's on me. So I'm going to get y'all hyped. Now, this was a simple verse, but it was it had me hype, all right? So check this out. Now, I could see I'm not blind. I ain't about to lose my mind. Being saved is not a crime. I act like this all the time. I'm not crazy. I ain't sick. I'm a Christian. That's it. I'm not dumb, I don't forget, cause Jesus Christ is who I'm with. I got a whole crew of believers. We in front cause we the leaders and we like to make them see us. When we do, they think of Jesus. He the only one we represent. He the reason why we confident. A gentle lamb so innocent, but he got more power than the president. So what you want and what you think, I don't have to take a drink. Drugs and weed, I don't buy. Cause Jesus Christ, he keep me high. That's just how it's got to be. I like my life. I'm living free. I don't care what people see, because if I'm crazy, fine with me. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, you think, think I'm crazy on the right. But, dog, dog, I just been changed. changed. You, you might, might think, think I'm, I'm going insane, insane, but I got Jesus on my brain. brain. Yeah. <laughs> well, what verse are you standing on Yeah, with well, it's a couple <laughs> verses that ought to get people hyped with yes, that song. I mean, let them know. Easy. So I got a couple I saved, and we'll just talk about them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go straight to these. This one is, one is Psalms 37 and 4. Mm. And it says this, it says, if you delight yourself in the Lord, mm. he will give you the desires of your heart. Yes. All right. Now, just think about that. It says, if you, if you out there, if you delight yourself mm. in the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart. But see, when you delight yourself in him, your desires become his desires. Mm. So that means you desire things that he co-signed with, that he agree with. Mm. So he's going to step in and cause that thing to happen. That's so right. You can't be designed ungodly things. That's right. You can't be designing things that that's not in His will. But if that's you delight right. yourself in Him and you design things He desire, He gonna co-sign and cause that stuff to, to happen. happen. That's and then right. I go to another scripture. Proverbs 16 and 3. Mm. That's a good one, too. You know, I don't even have to read it off here. I know this one. It says, commit to the Lord whatever mm. you do, and all, all your, your plans, plans will succeed. succeed. You know, I'm going to just go there and talk about that for yeah. you. If you commit what you do to the Lord. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people don't know what committing to the Lord means. Mm -hmm. That means you have to quit doing it your way That's and right. do it his way. That's you got to right. change the way you live in your life. That means when you get saved, you repent, mm. you turn away from sin. That means you turn away from your old way of life. All the things that wasn't committed mm. to him, mm. you stop doing it and you commit your way to the Lord. Mm. And then it mm. says, all, all your, your plans, plans will succeed. succeed. Yes. It says all of them. That yes. means every plan you have, once you commit yourself to the Lord, your plans got the potential to succeed. That's right. And so that's, that's good right. stuff. That's why you have that joy. And Nehemiah 18, it says the joy of the Lord is our it's strength. Our strength. So that That's means you right. even get strength you get from the Lord. Up. You get pumped up. up. You get pumped <laughs> up. So really, that's what that song was all about. It was about getting you pumped up to know that that's where your joy comes from. Mm -hmm. All right, Jesus. Who yeah. we with? Jesus. Jesus. All right. So look, I hope you put your ear close to the speaker today, and I hope you heard what it was God was trying to give to you without music. You know it's only one way to the Father. And that is through the Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Check out our One Way TV 225 show every week on our YouTube channel. That's right. We got a new episode and weekly. And make sure you subscribe by going and click on that little bell and you'll be notified for all our new upcoming episodes. Right. And for more information about us, visit our website at gottobedifferent.com. Man, if you are until the day you die, man, see if you are your head up high. This episode was sponsored by GeForce Innovations. Hi, I'm Arthur Shirley Weber, and I am so excited to bring you the Masterclass webinar. You're probably saying, what is a Masterclass webinar? Well, I'm going to tell you. 
I have come up with 12 motivational, encouraging teachings that I will send to you personally so that you can watch it in the comfort of your own home and you will be motivated and inspired. You know, ladies, we go through a lot of different challenges in our life and I have come up with tools that you can use to be the best version of yourself. And so what I need you to do, I need you to sign up. Go to my website, go to gottobedifferent.com. There's a spot on there that says teaching segments. Click on it. It'll say Shirley segments after that. Then you can sign up. Once you sign up, you'll receive that private link within 24 hours that you can start applying to your day-to-day -day life. Then after those 12 classes, because see, you're going to get another invitation after about two weeks. You're going to get another invitation with another topic. And then we're going to do it until we get to number 12. Once we get to number 12, ladies, what we're going to do, we're going to get together in a private setting so that I can meet all of you. And we're going to recap on everything that we went through. And then we're going to celebrate. We're going to enjoy meeting and greeting. So I need you to sign up. Go to gottobedifferent.com. Remember, sign up today so we can get started. And you know what I always say, to make a difference, you have to be different. All right, it's time for some real talk. Right, and today we're coming from the book, To Make a Difference, You Have to Be Different. And we're going to be talking about be determined to enjoy your life. Rejoicing that you woke up to see today. That's first. right, that's right. And see, in that scripture, it didn't say if everything was going well to right, rejoice. Right. He said just re rejoice. And the reason why he said that is because he have it all under control. Come on now. He got, he got it, all, it all, all under control. So if he control. got it all under control, you might as well just say, oh, well, well that's I, right. I got a headache today. But you know what? I'm rejoicing anyway because when that's this headache right. gone, God got something planned that's in the store right. for me today. Because as soon as you wake up, he right. have a plan already for right, your right. life. In fact, you're supposed to rejoice because when your eyes open up, you say, praise God, I'm that's up again. That's right. That's I'm what I, I do every morning. I could have not woke up. I could have not even got up. That's right. And you know, we have to have a choice. We have to say, look, I determined to enjoy my life mm -hmm. because he gave it to me. Right. And it's three important tools that you use to enjoy your life. What's and that? one of them is you have to choose your thoughts wisely. Mm -hmm. So you got to pick you what you're thinking about. You have to choose your thoughts wisely. So it's wisely. stuff that come in your mind, but you can't just dwell on that that's stuff. Right. So you that's right. You got to decide what you going to let That's be. why the word says we supposed to renew our mind with the word daily. Mm -hmm. Pick a scripture that's going to encourage you that day. Right. And just say it over and over until you get it. Right. Because right. see, his word will never return void. So what you say, you can't wait on nobody to do mm -mm. it. He said you have to do That's it. That's right. So you got to help yourself get out that slump. That's right. Yeah. And then the second one is be confident. Be confident. You know, you have to speak his word out loud. Out loud. Say something good is going to happen to me today. Okay. So that's he, just giving confidence in confident yourself that his in word is going to that back. his word so is going to work. So basically you motivating yourself. That's right. You just motivate yourself. With the word. Okay. okay. You telling yourself what the word says. Okay, so everybody has motivation to speak. That's right. That's right. That's everybody right. will be motivated. <laughs> Motivate to yourself Motiv with his word. Okay, come now on. Now you have to do it with his word. Right, right. You know, right, right. because I wake up and I say, thank you, Lord, for blessing me with today. I know something good going to happen to me because you already said that you have a plan for my life and that plan is to prosper right. me and not to harm me. Right. So I don't have to sit up here and wonder if something bad going to happen to me. Know it's gonna I happen. know something Something because, good gonna right, happen to on, me. Come on, speak that stuff. <laughs> to, to make a difference, you have to be different. And at Difference Makers, we strive to help you be just that. We help both the young and the old reach their true potential so they can excel in whatever area of life that they choose. Under the moniker of Difference Makers 225, we visit schools and encourage the youth. We help motivate them to be the best them that they can be so they can be prepared for whatever life throws their way. We have also authored two books, which are motivational self-help books filled with encouraging words and questionnaires designed to help you learn more about who you are and how close you are to being who you want to be. We also have Difference Makers Community Outreaches, where we head into the communities and collaborate with other organizations to provide support for the poor, sick, and homeless. Whether they are in need of a job, a place to stay, or an encouraging word, hopefully we can provide assistance. If not, we will do our best to connect you with someone who can. At Difference Makers, it is our goal to help you become the best you that you can be. So let us help you today. 
visit us at www.gottobedifferent.com or call us at 225-933-5816 to bring us to a city near you. And remember, to make a difference, you have to be different. To make a difference, you have to be different. You have to be different. This episode was sponsored by GeForce Innovation. Okay, we at the part of the show that I like, and I call it throwing out the net. Because it wouldn't be right for us to have a show and call it one way and then talk about the one way, but don't give you an opportunity to get your relationship right if it's not. Right, right. So if you're out there and you don't know where you would go if you died today. Right. I mean, really, your life is nothing to play with. And see, I'm going to share with you and I'm going to tell you why. Because you only get one. Right. So if this is you that we're talking about, what we want to do, we want to do something with you. We want to pray with you. So if you're ready, close your eyes and let's pray. Okay. Well, let's pray. Say this with me. Say, Heavenly Father, it's written in your word that if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord, and I believe in my heart, Father, that you have raised him from the dead, I shall be saved. Therefore, Father, I confess right now that Jesus is my Lord and I make him Lord of my life. I renounce my past life with Satan and I close the door to any of his devices. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me of all my sins. Jesus is my Lord and I am a new creation. Old things have passed away and all things become new. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Now, if you pray this prayer, then what we need you to do from this point on, starting from this point on, we need you to start following Jesus with all your heart. Right. Then make sure that you get you a Bible and start studying and reading it so that God can speak to you through his word. That's right. And also get connected with a local church so they can start helping to build you up and then also help sharpen you up. And also make sure that you get connected with us. Right. Go to our website. Go to gottobedifferent.com and then leave us a comment. And maybe we can help you to get motivated and get encouraged and headed into the right direction. Mm -hmm. Also on that same website, you can get our books and our audio books and other material that's on that site just for you. That's right. And we also have a YouTube channel. All you have to do is go to YouTube, type in One Way TV 225, and then click on that little bell so you can be notified for all our new upcoming episodes. Right, and check out our podcast that's available on all of your digital outlets. But one of them is anchor.fm slash difference makers 225. And see, go back to that website. And if nothing else, leave us a comment because see, what we want to do is we want to really get connected with you. That's right. Well, look, I hope you put your ear close to the speaker today. And I hope you heard what it was God was trying to give to you today with and without music. You know it's only one way to the Father, and that is through the Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, until the next time, we out, but you know what? It's only one way. This episode was sponsored by Difference Makers 225.